as we know, the world premiere of this symphony was in Samara, what was then called Kuibyshev. But very soon, the most famous performance was a performance of one of Leningrad orchestras, the conductor's name, Karl Eliasberg. Musicians hardly were able to move. They didn't eat. They were thin. They were basically walking skeletons, but they performed the symphony. And the whole world had a clear message. You don't go to a victory in the country where people who are about to die are giving you a big premiere of a powerful symphony. I never tried myself to put it directly as a document describing tanks or aircrafts or bombing, artillery, burning of the cities, you know. One can say, oh, Hitler invading, this is the, the you, see, you hear, you see, this is, this is, the, they are invading. I don't think that makes the discussion about the symphony serious. It puts it on a lower level. My opinion, symphony number seven was um, a re direct result of Dmitry Shostakovich being great symphonist, very famous, very popular, very pow powerful, genius uh, musician. But he spoke for millions and millions of people who faced deadly risk, aggression, and were losing their lives every minute. But it was clear they're not going to lose their country. They're not going to lose their culture. They're not going to lose their history. And I think Shostakovich found this in incredible balance between personal statement and speaking about a, a global event of unbelievable proportions, which, which is not maybe, but already taking place.